And so it looks... So there's a progressive sealed entry ticket that I could use, or a... And a Primal Dawn. Why don't I just do that? Join tournament. Do I need to buy that? I put some money on my account, so we'll see how this goes. Well, maybe I just get one for free? Okay. Whew. Let's look at our pool. So the nice thing about this is that I have all the time in the world to build my deck and to really go through exactly exactly what it is that I've got. Um, especially when we're talking about all these new cards. You know, you, you, you've got a lot of reading to do if you haven't done any at all thus far. So release weekend's always exciting to look through what you've got. Now, I am excited to use the new set four champion that I was just using. Uh, so I'm going to be kind of wanting to lean towards that guy, which is Ka Kagachu, or was it Kag Kagalishu? Kagalishu it says put three cards in the bottom in your crypt, and then basically put one in your hand, which is basically virtual card draw. So we'll see what we've got to start out with. So we've got this guy. Bumblebot has flight and speed. It seems all right, I guess. Threshold of my choice. Yeah, okay. Uh, put another card you control in your hand. So I just play a gain, wild, and a charge. Two wild. Sacrifices. Create Smashadon and put it into your hand. Smashadon's a 5-5. Five, five. Huh. That's pretty cool. So it's a fixer, mostly. And then if you have double wild, you can sacrifice it and make it into a Smashadon later. That's interesting. That's an interesting piece of card design. Let's see. Concussious. Deal with damage to target champion. That champion discards a card. Okay, yeah, that's that's a good, pretty good blood card there. Center's play, create a zombie and put it into your hand. Center's play, create a battle hopper for each coyotal. Constant Center's play under your control. A random troop from your crypt into your hand. That could be useful if I play enough constants, but I don't know that I'm going to have enough to make it make a difference in this type of a format. Center's play, void the target troop in your opponent's crypt. Gains. This gets power equal to avoided troops power. So he gets stronger. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It has flight though. I, that could be pretty sick, I suppose. Avoid a troop in my crypt, which is okay. So I kind of need to play that champion so I can void a troop in my crypt to get this to happen. Let's see. When this enters play, discard a troop. If you do, it gets plus one, plus one to flight. Yeah, this seems like I'm giving away too much with blood right now. Deals two damage to opposing champion. In health damage this way. So he deals deals two damage to each opposing champion and then gains you some health. And it's got flight. I guess that's kinda cute. Gain troops thresholds, destroy the troop. Ooh, here we go. That's pretty awesome. That's good removal. I've only got one of those, though. So that's probably the, the premium removal in blood is Reap. So that's going to be a high high pick. Probably picks one through three will be Reap. If you're looking to go into blood. Shadow Rider. So if you see Reap come around on picks four through six in your, uh, in your limited metagame when you're playing draft, I mean, you know that those people, I mean, blood is pretty open. Center's play bury the top three cards of your of each champion's deck. Now that could be interesting. I wonder. I I should, probably should be playing this in my other deck too, but it, it's not amazing. It's it's just got flight. It does do things that we wanted to do in that deck. Oh okay. Uh, wild wailing rider. Okay, let's see. Next troop in your deck gets plus two, plus four. Now the Coyotles got like super buffed, so Coyotle might be the way to go here. When you gain health, this gets plus two, plus two. I know there's a health champion that, that helps out with that. There's the new champion in wild, and here's the one that's minus one, but the wild diamond one. When a troop enters play, you get a health. I mean, I guess that kind of works. 
I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it. Target Trooper can control a flight gets plus two, plus one. But it's only once. And they have to have flight. That seems really bad. It seems pretty bad. Force and tune. Two phantoms. Put them in a okay, so this might be something if I have enough necrotics. I've got two of those. That that might be something if I have enough necrotics. I could be a really sweet early game type of thing. Threshold of my choice. Is that that's just a, a constant that does that? And you gain a threshold, gain one health. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Gain health equal to troops power. A lot of stuff that gives me health, that's for sure. Target troop gets defensive. So I can stop a, a troop from attacking. It can never attack again. So basically I'm making something... It can it can block things, but it can't attack anymore. So that, that seems pretty good. That actually might... This will probably see constructed play in some sort of a control deck. Quell seems pretty good, actually. Although it is basic action speed, so... Center's play revert transform target necrotic into a phantom. Gain control of that troop so I can take my opponent's necrotics with this guy. That seems pretty good. Here's a vanilla necrotic warrior that's just a, a 3 1. But I guess it works with our other thing. Empower. There's a sh that's a pretty good empower. Like, we, this should be doable. Like, diamond looks pretty good to me right now. Totem Trap, deal three damage to target attacking or blocking troop. Sick. This is sick. For one? Wow, I'm look Diamond looks pretty good right now to me. Sinners play gain three health. Alright, well, let's look at. Actually, I should really just. We've already looked at, what, Blood and Diamond, so we'll look at them in some sort of order. Let's see, let's look at Ruby next. We looked at our artifacts already. And then we'll just kind of go through that way. It makes it much easier when you can just do it this way. We shall look at my... This guy I'm, is okay, I guess. It's starting turn to play it in action. Do I sacrifice this? Yeah, this is definitely not going to be playable in this format. This is a very specific, very narrow deck that would play that in Constructed. Deals two damage to each opposing champion or troop that was dealt damage this turn. This seems pretty sick in Blood and Ruby. That could be pretty sick. We do have the Blood and Ruby champion, but I don't know that we would actually have enough actions to make that happen here, so probably won't probably won't be in playing him here. He needs a, you to play an action. Like, he, he, he raises the damage of your actions by one for the turn. Play an action gets plus two, plus two, and Swift Strike. Yeah, a lot of these are requesting that I play an action. Rage and Power. I really need things that are less narrow than that. Steals double damage, okay. Not really feeling the ruby right now. This is in your hand, cost one, minus one for each damage dealt to opposing champion this turn. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's a 5-3. I mean, it feels again like another, not really a s limited card. Constant enters play under control, deal two damage to each opposing champion. That's pretty cool, but I again, in when a consonant. So it includes itself, I'm guessing. So, but it's only to the opposing champion, not troop or champion. Yeah, that's really not that playable. Deal one damage to each opposing champion. It's a pinger, okay. Draw two cards. I think this, yeah, I'm not feeling the ruby right now. It's not looking great. Let's play target artifact. One of, yeah, we don't really have an artifacts for that to target. So let's play, put a scorch in your hand. This is, eh. At least this guy's a decent pick for when when you're doing limited, but Ruby looks really weak right now to me. Target troop gets plus three and must attack. I, mean, I guess that's okay, because you can use it on your troop and get some more damage in, or you can use it on their troop. Deluxe damage to target troop. Yeah, not feeling the Ruby, that's for sure. So, so far we've got Diamond, and kind of Blood looks okay. Blood looks okay. Okay, exhaust target cards, a tempo for zero though. I mean that's 
That's pretty cool. I mean, this could could go in some sort of a crazy tempo deck later that's really cheap. Next action resource a troop in your deck gets when you play this draw card. Well, that seems pretty sick. Because then you can use it with... Uh, I mean, we, will, we, we have our throwbacks, right, from the last season. I mean, we still have Winter Moon is really sick. Cressida is nah, less good. Uh, Bryce and Maplewood still pretty good and limited. Uh, Zorum is, is going to see some play. Sagebrush, I started seeing some people play him recently. Yet. Um, I don't know that he's better than Might Singer, though. For maybe in this format, because Might Singer, like, there's not a lot of ramp in this in this block, so... Urgnok's going to see some play, maybe. It, it, the Ruby cards look really bad, so I don't know if we're going to see any, any of him today. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else we might see here or not. Oh, and we might see this guy where you just try to play all the thresholds. So you gain a threshold of your choice for four, but it seems like, yeah, a tri shard deck or a quad shard or tri shard deck is going to be. Uh, yeah, Sapphire looks okay so far. We've got this guy. That's kind of a big deal. Is this guy Socket Major Minor, which is kind of a big deal? It's kind of what I want to have in that Blood Wild deck, but um, I don't know that I'm going to go into Sapphire just so I can pick up this guy. But just so I can do like what we were doing in the other deck. Interrupt target card with cost three or less. So if you empower it, you could you could uh, interrupt target card with cost six or six or less hmm. for six. So it's an early counter, and then later on it's an expensive counter. So this isn't really that good though. It should have costed like two. Um, and well, I guess two would have been not. Yeah, that would have been too 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 good though it's hard to say where that one should have been like it feels like this is I guess it's got the single threshold which helps out compared to regular counter magic okay this guy's pretty good enters play has flight crazy good spider amazing body this is going to be a high pick for the spiders players Play a troop with flight, gets flight this turn. Okay, I guess. Doesn't really do very much else. It's just a maybe flight troop. Unblockable, that's pretty sick. That's why it costs four to get him in play. Shift one defensive, so you shift it off this guy and you have a 6-6. Six, six. I guess that's pretty good. And power, so you could make this guy have a crazy back end, but I mean troops with crazy back ends usually aren't that great. For four, you can have a 0-8. Uh, that doesn't seem that great. If he was at least one in the front end or something. Uh, center's play, the next troop in your deck gets all the socket and powers of this. So, for a 2-5. So it's kind of like... No, I guess it's not. It's, it's, it's kind of like... Um, What's it called without the card draw? Titania's Majesty without actually drawing a card. It just gives the socketed power to the next troop. Yeah, that's that's kind of cute, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the Sapphire right now. So, so far we've got Diamond. Let's see what Wild looks like. Oh, I like this guy. Maw of the Hunt. Elf I control deals damage to the champion this turn and put it in my hand, play it for free. I do like that guy. We didn't get my favorite little Oh, we did get one truffle head. We got one truffle head. I don't know that I want to play discard just for that one truffle head. Discard this guy, I gain five health. I don't know that I have anything in blood that can like really pull the cards out of my graveyard. That's that's the issue. Center's play, target troop, you control gets plus two plus zero for each elf. No, I'm not really feeling that guy. Gain health, this gets plus three plus three this turn. Now this is pretty sick. Make it a five five. Gain some health, make it a five five. Fearless fray. When this dies, draw a card, that troop battles target opposing troop. So it battles something as it dies. That's pretty cool, actually. When it, this dies, draw a card. 
Harvest Moon, gain four health. Which we get. Yeah, it's, I'm not really seeing that one. Gain eight health. Ooh. Theoretical Chanter and Power when the center's play created one random chant. Oh, this guy's really good. Yeah, I remember looking at this guy. There's a. Uh, Oh, but it's a random, completely random chant. It's not in the shards you're playing necessarily. Uh, ooh, there you go. This guy seems pretty sick. We can empower him for eight. We can make him uh, an eight six. It's pretty good early. For a target troop control, then a troop gets. Play wild cards, gain one health. I mean, it's cool because I can shuffle this guy in with whatever it is. With um, oh, this just gains me life. That's pretty cool. And we get resources off of it. Wow! So for two resources, for two wild resources. Okay, so I only gain resources off of this. I don't gain health. Okay. So for two resources, I gain a resource. For four resources, I gain two resources. This seems pretty sick. I, I feel like wild is going to be the ticket for us right now. So that's my ramp card. I actually picked up a rare ramp card. Discard this. Gain five, five health. Yep, and I've got this guy. If I really need to, I could discard him. I've got two of him. There's play. The next troop in your deck gets minus two cost. I mean, I guess that could be good. The thing is, if I want to play Winter Moon, I have to play Sapphire. So we have to go back and look and see how bad the Sapphire is. I mean, we've got interrupts and things. It should be okay, I guess. We might actually push into a, the, the, the Diamond Shard. The Diamond looked really good. That's what I really liked, but um, it's kind of scary. <laughs> go and try Shard on this. I mean, I've only got, let's see, how many cards do I have here? I've got 13 here. And in wild, I've got an additional, let's say, 31 cards total, and I'd have to somehow scrape a deck together out of this. And diamond had some sick stuff, though. Diamond wild. So if I do diamond wild, I guess I could do the diamond wild champion, but then I can never pull anything out of my great, out of my, um, out of my crypt, and I, I really kind of want to do that when I'm playing Trufflehead. And there's really. And blood, really, I remember blood looking pretty bad. I think I had, like, one thing that might be able to pull something out of the crypt. And Ruby looked really super bad. Yeah, I think we're going to go... I might just go try. Try hard with Diamond, Sapphire, and Wild. And then some fixing with the... With some of the stuff, like... This kind of fixes for us. This enters play. Put a card you control into your hand. No, that's not what I want. Gain a threshold of my choice. Yeah, that's going to be a big deal here. Yeah, okay. Alright, unfortunately, I think we're gonna, we did not get a good blood mix here. So we are going to go with the Winter Moon. We are going to go Winter Moon and... and dip into diamond for some good diamond stuff so all the diamond stuff has to be like single threshold and really good we definitely have to play this guy so we can get those thresholds and i think i'm going to go ahead and play this infusion device because wild is probably going to be my primary shard to begin with so let's get the wild and the the best wild and sapphire stuff first and then we'll see what we have left over to get some good diamond stuff in here and you know so i don't think i want that guy once per turn, you gain health. This gets plus three, plus three. Yeah, it seems all right. We'll, we can put that guy in here. Troop you controls when this dies. Draw a card. Troop battles. Yeah, this seems like that's like a big card for this deck. I don't know that I need this. Well, I mean, it's a random chant. I mean, there's a one in one in five. I'll get it. Uh, you know, uh, of any of the particular ones. So it's three out of five. I'll, I should be able to play the chants, right? And I can get two chants out of him. And he's in power. So, like, honestly, like, even if I don't get a good chant, I can 
at least get for four I can get a four two and that's okay I guess if an elf I control deals damage so I kind of want to play some elves so I can play that for free so there's an elf that's a basic action I want to prioritize elves in here so elf warrior this guy seems pretty sick basic action revert troop you control then that troop gets plus one plus one so I can heal my own troops I mean that seems like more of a it's basic action too so it's not really a trick play a wild card gain one health oh there we go so this guy combos with what is it this guy yeah there we go that's the combo right there of course we want truffle head that was like a big thing for me we have more another buffalo it's a solid body I mean so we'll, we'll go and put them in here wellspring uh, Wrath with Sycamore, sure, get those guys in there. What else have we got here? Uh, center's play, the next troop in your deck gets cost minus two. I mean, that seems okay. Maybe. I guess. Alright. So the only cards we didn't pick up were the Sentinel. Another troop in your control gets plus two, plus two for each elf. That troop... I mean, this just feels so random, and chances are that I'll never play this, be able to play this card, but I don't know. I could be wrong about that guy. Maybe he's a lot better than I think he is. It's another random troop in my deck. Another target. Oh, another target troop you control gives plus two, plus two. For each elf you control this turn. That troop gets crush this turn. No, this is only this turn. That's even worse. You control against plus two plus three this turn. Yeah, that's horrible. We're not doing that. Yeah, we're not doing that. I don't know if there's any elves in Sapphire. I don't think there are. So mostly we're probably going to EVO time. It is, it's time to try to see if we can win some games. That's, that's what time it is. So next group of my get my deck gets all the socketed powers of this and it's socket minor so I guess I could just make my stuff untargetable right like that seems like maybe what you do here it's only or I can make them quick ooh quick seems pretty sick quick seems sick because then I can play a lot of stuff in my opponent's end step this guy's super expensive but I should be able to hopefully ramp up into him with my one ramp card we're almost actually at a, a full deck here already. So that that's that guy seems pretty good for this type of a deck. We may not actually have to go into diamond, although I really wanted to. I really did. Yeah, I think we'll shut the diamond off here. Because I only need to get a couple more cards in Sapphire. We're definitely picking up the interrupt. The really expensive interrupt. This one. No. Attacking troops get minus one power. That seems like that that could be pretty good. Let's see, this guy's probably one I want to play, though. Play in action, create a replica of this, put it in your hand. Huh. And as a major and a minor. So we can do something like... Uh, let's see, what do we want to do here? Wild and Sapphire. We probably want to draw cards. So, draw cards. Although that's double Sapphire. Might be hard to get to. And then what do we do in, set in wild? Maybe just make him uh, untargetable. Some spell shield. Or we can make him a 4-4. Four, four. I mean, chances are like pretty low that people are going to have removal for a 4-4. Four, four. There's like one blood card. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Is that what I do here? Make him a 4-4 four, four spell shield. Ah, we'll go spell shield. We'll just do that. We can always swap it for that if I feel like my opponent is low, low amounts of things. Okay, here it is. Refute. That's the one we want to. We definitely want that. And we uh, need another solid card here. Empower. This guy seems pretty bad. Shift defensive. It's over to my own troops. That seems like that's. Eh. Shift unblockable, that seems okay. Although it's double threshold. You play a troop with flight, this gets, we don't have any troops with flight. Uh, spiraling eggs. And it's got flight, it'd be like the only flight troop, but he's double threshold, so I don't know that I'm really feeling that guy either. 
Macro mitts is right now is, is looking pretty good to me. Let's play this draw a card. The next action resource and troop in your deck gets. You play this draw a card. This seems pretty good. I think that's that's what we want. We want that for sure. And I think I do want macro mitts. Mercurial mitts. That seems pretty good too. So let's go by cost and see what it, our curve kind of looks like. I mean, it's not too, too bad, I guess. I mean, we're mostly over here. We've got a, quite a few five drops. Hey, it's going on torting. I feel like we're okay. Yeah, macro mitts is, yeah, it does, it definitely handles spiders really, really well. That's why you only attack with a couple of spiders at a time, but, you know. I think we're there. I think this is it. I think this is the deck. I mean, we're, we're running 17 shards, and we don't really have a crazy high end, so I think we're, we'll be okay with the, the 17 shards. We do want to have two shards on our open hand. We're very heavy and wild. 65% wild, so we're going to need uh, probably like a 10-7 split. Something like that, or a ten, or a nine-eight split. Probably ten-seven, just because. Just because uh, the double thresholds where they are, they're like I, I made sure that all my sapphire cards are single thresholds, so I think ten-seven is where we really want to be, here. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. And do a test draw. Yeah, see, like that's fine. I would go with that. That hand is okay. This hand's good. Yeah. I want this guy to be 6-6 six, six or even 10-10. Ten, ten. That would be awesome. All right, so we hopefully we'll get like two or three wins at least. We shall see. Let's go ahead and save the deck, and we'll put an awesome sleeve on the deck. Am I interested in anything from the new set? I really like the shin hair right now. Like, I don't need to buy anything, if that's what you're asking, but, um, yeah. The shin hair, I'm telling you right now, they're going to be so good. Let's keep, I'm just going to keep using my shin hair, Feast of Abundance Sleeve. They're saying that the shin hair is not going to do well right in the new, in the new format, so. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to be really good. Oh, this is not good. Well, we can get some health out of this guy. It seems pretty bad. I kind of don't want to keep this. I have no playable cards. I was doing Benvolio. We're going to draw again here. Alright, we'll keep this one. This is still not great, but at least we can play a Maw of the Hunt eventually if we draw enough resources. Put 10 wild resources in here. Can you believe this? This luck right now? resources. I'm telling you, Shin here is going to be good. It's going to be so good. Who's this guy? Oh, I can empower him. That's what it's showing me. Okay. Don't need to make him eight just yet. We don't need to make him that crazy. All right, we got our other wild shard, so we're in pretty good shape. We were on the draw, so that also helps with our mulligan down to uh, down to six. <sighs> yep, going down to six is pretty painful. I, I I'll, I'll show you the deck. You know what? We'll just. How about if we just, after this, we'll just play the decks against... I'll play my deck against whatever you want to play, and and we'll see. How about that? I think that that's the better way. Because, you know, you get in all these arguments. is like the school ground argument, where it is that everybody's just like, well, if this happens, then this. And then if this happens, then this. It's just... It has the card draw, and it has the bodies to do really well. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. That was a good early draw for him. Wow. And pass.
class. And we'll be able to play Vanguard, which might get us a free mob to hunt. Maybe. And we can also play Robomancer. Seems pretty good. Archer at the end of the turn, if opposing champ was dealt damage, it gets bigger. Wow. Okay. Well, that's that guy's gonna could get pretty big. That might be a problem. Yeah. So this guy buffs this guy. Oh, he's gonna put it on that guy. That was a mistake. Oh, he put the. Oh, I see. He put the swift strike on him. Okay, that makes sense. So, we'll do this. Okay, so he's going to get huge. I think I think I might have already lost with this this combo he's got set up here. Cuz fearless fray doesn't help enough here. Uh, yeah, I can't make him walk here. This isn't good. I think I just lost. These cards are ridiculous, by the way. Uh, I don't think he, I think he will block. I think he's going to block here. Well, I suppose if he does, I can just I can fearless fray him here, and then if he blocks. Oh, I can kill this guy. I can just... Okay, well that helps. That helps a little bit. Do I have to set up who he's... That... Hmm. I don't feel like that was worded that way, but... Okay, I'll take it. I guess I might as well shuffle both of those in. Kind of mulligan down to five here, so. I guess I can heal myself, but I kind of really don't want to have to do that. I'd rather just play this 5-5 five five instead. That was good value, though, on that, even though I had to two-for-one that guy. I mean, he would have gotten way out of hand really fast. This would have been over real fast. I mean, I'm still taking five here, which is pretty bad, but... take the five. Unfortunately, I don't get a free maw of the hunt here. Let's do this. So, I can play that guy at quick speed and get a thing here. I need, some, I need a flyer to deal with that guy. Alright, so the plan is we're going to play this guy at quick action speed and block, double block this guy to, to get some value. And then my stuff will start becoming quick speed. We still need to deal with this flyer though because he's going to kill us all by himself at this point. We don't have an elf to make our maw the hunt free, which is unfortunate. Centers so play void attacking troop. Okay. Reach Koyoto. I don't, luckily, I didn't attack, huh? It's a good thing. Not that I could have, really. We're still double blocking this guy on the left and taking three here, by the way. That's pretty much the play. We'll play this guy. We have to play it at the end of the attack phase before we go to blockers. If you play it during blockers, we've already passed our chance to block. So that's kind of important. 2-5 quick action speed, and then it gives quick action to my next couple of guys. Seems pretty good. Ooh, he's going to do that. And swift strike. Well, that's that's rude. That's, that's pretty rude. 
So he can kill this guy anyways. So instead of double blocking his guy, now I'm basically single blocking and just staving off some damage. That's unfortunate. Not sure why he didn't swing with that guy too. That's unfortunate. Really need to deal with this flyer. Still. I may have to actually just sack this guy for health. Instead of playing him. Because I can't deal with the flyer. I have another fight card in there somewhere. Scorches my... Oh, that's rude. That was... That was rude. Yeah, we're just probably a little bit too slow for what's happening to us right now. Um, yeah, I think I lose here. Guess we'll just go ahead and play this guy. Be nice if it gave me health also, but I have to sack him to do that, or discard him rather to do that. Oh, off to a rousing start with our set four... Um, First, first day of set four. <laughs> There's play. Although it's like I shouldn't, you know, it's like I, I, I shouldn't expect this. I haven't played set four at all really this week. Like I just put together the cool Shin Hair deck and, you know, the tier one Shin Hair deck. Just saying. Pretty much losing to this this uh, flyer all day. Just saying, all day. Can't be blocked except by troops. Okay, yep, yep. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's for sure. It's definitely taken a few games. I'm pretty sure I, I there's nothing I can do here. Yep. So we'll just good games and good games. <laughs> uh, Seraph, if you'd like, we can do a, a real quick match, and I can show you what the what what the new Shin Hair meta can do. Here. So we will.